Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher, and today's lesson is Flip Flap, and it's by Stub Corn, and another great tangle by um, Stub. It is, it was a little challenging again, I don't know if it's just me or um, what, but I think I've mastered to give you uh, an easy way to do this and so I'm going to you can see that it's it's really quite a only a couple of strokes but it kind of got me so I'm going to do it on a little round tile and again we're going to make our grid with our pencil so I do go down the center of my circle and then equally on both sides and we're going to go down the center and then equally on both sides of that and we're gonna as we do it I want you to think and I'm gonna do this a little darker this is a square and this this even though this one doesn't come all the way out Think of it as these four areas. We're going to work completely in this four area, this area of four square, and then we'll move to another one. I found that that much easier than when I gridded out the whole pattern and then tried to do it. So we start with a simple kind of a curved line. So it's going to arc. So I'll say it, it kind of arcs to the right. So kind of a little pinwheel looking um, pattern. And now I am going to just echo or, or echo this line as we go out. That same shape that I drew there. And then I'm going to rotate my tile and I'm going to do the same thing. Echo. That line out. Rotate my tile. And you see I'm just working on I'm just that those four little penciled in squares. I'm not even going to think about the others. Rotate and I'm going to do it here. This way I could get that Zen feel in it if I only concentrated on one area. And now I'm going to do the area next to it, but instead of having my um, it go to the right, I'm going to have it arc to the left. And I'm going to rotate and it's going to arc to the left. So now I have it all the way arced on all sides. I'm just going to just concentrate on this area, but I'm going to start and I'm going to go counterclockwise because I find it easier. And I'm going to follow this line down. And right where that other one came up, I'm just going to echo that same line so that they kind of look like they, well, they do, they meet. Now I'm going to rotate and I'm going to echo this line. that I need to go opposite of this one. And so this one went to the right and this one to the left. So I'm going to go to the left. And what tells me is that I want that round shape there. So I knew I need to go to the left. So that arcs to the left. 
and you can see that I've got that same little shape there. And now I'm going to echo this line. right from that center pencil line. Okay, now we have this last square to do, and our line is going to arc to the right. I'm gonna rotate, arc to the right, rotate, and this is a little stubby one. Arc to the right, and arc to the right. Now I'm ready to fill in. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to follow this line and I'm going to go all the way down. And then I'm going to see this one so I know I have to come up here and come down. And I'm on this one, so I'm just going to echo around and then on this one. And there I have a flip flap by Stub Corn, and it is gorgeous. Now, to shade this one, I've shaded these just like Stub did. I shaded, I did this one in blue on gray. And I shaded it with a blue um, color pencil. But we want to just go on this arc line here that we did. So I'm just going to put a little shading on that line. And I love doing on the little small tiles. This is a little round, two inch round tile. They're kind of fun. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna take my shading stump, but I haven't shown for a while to clean it. To clean those shading stumps, you can just take an emery board and clean that paper off. It makes two things. It cleans it off, and second, it, it gets rid of that graphite so it will blend a little easier. If there's much buildup of graphite, it just gets too slippery and it will not blend. And you can see how that beautiful pattern just pops right out. So there we have Flip Flap from Stub Corn, another gray tangle. And I just want to suggest if you have a problem doing a tangle, don't give up. Keep trying. Uh, you'll find a method that works for you. This method works for me, even though it's a little different than steps, um, step outs. It worked for me, and I was able to repeat it um, over and over without making mistakes. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. There's new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And... You can support this channel um, also by just donating. If you go to the store, there's a donation button if you don't want to buy anything. Also, share this with your friends so that they too can enjoy the wonderful pleasures of Zen Tangle. Thanks again, and thank you, Stubcorn, for this great tangle, and have a great day.